What's up guys, it's your NCOIC Sergeant Thomas and I'm back with another video. I was driving, I was thinking, man, I wanna share something with y'all. This being my first time driving a U-Haul and pulling a car, I wanted to share what the experience was is like, you know, especially while being on the road. Right now, I'm gonna put down probably about six, 700 miles coming up through from Florida up to the Alabama state line, but so far, you know, it's a good experience. I don't really feel the car back there. You know, sometimes I would feel, I thought I would feel that it was sluggish or, you know, maybe if there's a slight hill, you'll feel something, you know, but besides that, it feels quite normal, like driving the truck without towing anything, you know, unloading. You know, I got a couple things in the back of the truck as well, but overall, the experience is pretty good. My first suggestion would be that before you leave, let them give you a good rundown because they will hook it up and <laughs> send you down the road. I wouldn't leave there until you asked them all the questions. Uh, definitely plan ahead. Second suggestion, think ahead. You know, when you're about to go to a gas station, look at the gas station and see where it'd be probably be best for you to pull up to the pump and get up out of there. Right now I'm pulling a 1971, my 1971 Chevrolet Impala. And I think most people probably wouldn't even pull a car, be pulling a car this heavy. So if it's pulling this just fine, and this is a 10 foot, a 10 foot truck. If it's pulling this just fine, I don't think anybody else is gonna have a problem. You know, but if you needed to pull something like this, then you know it could do it. I've driven the 16 foot I have to fact I have to check and this is a 10 I've driven the 16 foot unloaded this same route and of course I've driven this one unloaded and this will be my first time driving this one this 10 loaded you know as in towing and I don't really you know I don't I, I think anybody could get behind the wheel and do this you just have to be safe you know just think safety give yourself more time to stop because it's gonna be a lot more weight take your time you know don't be in a rush everyone wants to be in a rush and that's how you get into accidents that's how you have problems don't be in a rush just take your time sail down the road and be cautious look out for other drivers Think about the things that you can control and control those things. Everything else you can't control and control your speed, you know. Control how much stopping distance you give yourself. Control how much time you give yourself to switch lanes. And speaking of switching lanes, I'm gonna put this out there right now. Everybody watching this video, tell a friend, have them tell a friend. Let's just have people let each other over. Let that be the, 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 the new standard, you know? If everybody just lets each other over, wouldn't it be a better place to drive? Wouldn't it be a better world, you know? No one would have to be like, I'm not letting this person over because this other person didn't let me over. If that was just the standard, I think it'd be much better, you know? It'd be a better world. See, somebody wants to get over, they're using their signal. Now you gotta use the signal now. That's this little stalk right here on the end. <laughs> left and right once you use that automatically you should be let over I don't I don't see why people don't want to let people over but they don't so let's try let's try that out another thing I would definitely keep it in the right lane because if something were to happen and you were all the way in the left lane you don't want to have to try to get all the way to the right lane or pull over in the left I said that wrong no yeah or pull over in the left and have to cross the highway because nine out of ten everything's gonna be on the right side you know so definitely I'd keep it in the right that's what I do yeah you're gonna have to get over from time to time because you know another thing the yield sign that's the most disrespected sign in, on the road y'all ever notice that no one respects the yield sign so you're gonna have to get over on those cars that are coming onto the highway and then people don't want to let you over but it's better to ride on the right than be over there on the left. So I definitely keep it on the right lane. Something else I suggest, every time you stop, make sure you go back there and check the chains. Just 
check the straps and check the hook up to the truck. You check it periodically, you know, you might be able to avoid something. Another tip, if you could stop at Wawa, stop at Wawa. They got all types of drinks and food. You know. If it's in the way, if it's on the way, stop at Wawa. If you're feeling apprehensive about doing this, I wouldn't worry about it. You know, I wouldn't worry about it. I would definitely get a nice warm and fuzzy when you go to pick up the trailer. Make sure they tell you everything you want to know, any questions that you have, make them answer it. The actual driving experience, to me it feels like driving the truck with it, without anything in the back, but you don't want to drive it like that, that's for sure. Just slow down, take your time. If you're normally a reckless driver, just be somebody else while you're driving this, you know? <laughs>